water cycle. I'm sure you've seen rain fall and make puddles in your backyard. What happens to the puddles after a while when the rain stops and the sun comes out? The water dries up and disappears. Similarly, water disappears from wet clothes as they dry in the sun. And even from ponds if it doesn't rain for some time. So, where does all this water go? Water from wet clothes, puddles, ponds, rivers and seas all gets evaporated. We've learnt about evaporation in our previous videos. So you all know that the conversion of water into vapor on heating is called evaporation. This vapor becomes a part of air that we cannot see. During the day, sunlight falls on oceans, rivers, ponds and other water sources. It also falls on fields and other land areas. Along with that, the sunlight also heats up the surrounding areas that are left in the shade. This heat evaporates the land water from all the open spaces and turns it into vapor. The water salts, however, are left behind. Plants also do their share and contribute to evaporation by giving out water during the process of transpiration. All this water gets added to air. When the air moves up, it gets cooler and cooler. At higher heights, the air becomes so cool that the water vapor present in it condenses to form tiny drops of water called droplets. These tiny droplets remain floating in air and appear to us as clouds. When more and more droplets come together, they form larger and heavier droplets. When these droplets get too heavy, they fall as rain, snow or hail. So the land water and the water let out by plants through transpiration goes into air by evaporation and forms clouds which fall back on earth as rain, snow or hail. What happens to the water that falls back on earth as rain, snow or hail? This water goes back into the ocean. Now this happens in many ways. The snow that falls on mountains melts again with the heat of the sun. The water flows down the mountains as rivers or streams. The rainwater that falls on land also flows into these rivers and streams. Some of these rivers travel long distances before falling into the ocean and seas. Lakes and ponds also get filled by some of the rainwater. The rainwater is also absorbed by the soil. Some of it is taken in by plants and comes out in the process of transpiration. Some of it gets stored as groundwater and fills up wells. This groundwater is drawn by hand pumps and tube wells and is used by people. So the water from the ocean and the earth's surface goes into air as vapor by the process of evaporation. The vapors cool as they go higher and become water droplets. 
Many of these water droplets come together to form clouds. When the clouds get heavier, they fall down on earth as rain, snow or hail. This rain, snow or hail flows back into the rivers, oceans and the ground. This circulation of water is known as the water cycle. Water cycle is a continuous process and maintains the supply of water on land.